Hey everyone, so I realized I don't think I've been doing my check-ins. So, let me explain something. My budget is so hard when you are self-employed, trying to track your money, but I'm so grateful, so thankful that I am basically paying attention now to my budget, what I'm making, not spending so frivolous, frivolous frivolously you know money now like today well this week I was supposed to be doing be doing no eating out and I wasn't successful yesterday which was Monday today is Tuesday and I was successful so this video will probably be up on Wednesday so I'm not going to be long-winded I'm going to get into March as you can see it's barely filled out because I've just not been paying much attention so I have some stickers here and I was supposed to pay a credit card bill, uh, which was my Victoria's Secrets bill. That's normally due on the first. I have yet to pay it, okay? I'm I'm bad. I'm bad. So what is today? Today is the 12th. So I'm going to pay it between today and tomorrow. So I'm going to put that sticker there. I don't know what I did with my tweezers. But nonetheless... Let's just kind of catch up and do a check-in because I do want to get better at this. So I have to pull out my every day to uh, see what money was made. So I explained, I think, in my flip through that I did that I generally write everything down that I make in these sheets here. And these are like basically notepads and I just put holes in them. And this is how I track what I'm making on a daily basis because I also use an online app. But if someone comes in and they get something different, I won't change it. So I'm not keeping up with it digitally. So it really works better for me on pen and paper. So I'm gonna sit um, that charm aside. So for the week of <clears throat> the 2nd of February, uh, excuse me, the first week in February was $615. Let me see if I got it down here. But see, it's in my, this book. I'm keeping it up in here too. The second week, which was last week, the 9th, I ended the week with $1,028. Let's see. And I don't know what I did with my booth rent stickers. I got to make some more to coordinate. And so my booth rent is due. Let me just go ahead and put that there. Let me just go ahead and write this down for the rest of the week. And something that I noticed, good thing I haven't really sold any. But I noticed I didn't make a week five for um, my March stickers. So if anyone decides to order, I have to add in a week five. Let's see here. So I'm basically going back through, uh, let's see, I have to put in my ADT bill, which will be due on the 24th, along with the water and gas. Now my cell phone is kind of tricky because, let me tell y'all, my cell phone bill is so high, so I'm also going to start adding baby steps and the snowball and sinking funds into my budget, but I'm still basically learning my budget and how I can basically pay myself how I can manage my budget and save money at the same time. So also, let me add that I just saved $25. Let me tell y'all something. It, I'm, it's hard for me to save money because I do get paid in cash daily. And you can always think of something that you need. But I did manage to save $25. So what's today? Today's Tuesday. I put $25 in my savings account. So we got booth rent. I'm just looking over here in my everyday carry because for some reason I put it here and did not put it here. So my car note, I pay, I just paid a car note yesterday. Let me take out a bill due sticker for that. I don't know why I didn't finish this. I, so I'm trying to think, like, did I ever do my March budget? But, um... So that was paid. I'm going to put a check by that. 
And as crazy it is, as it is, I have them like seven days apart. And the reason I have, um, I have my card note broken up into two. And the reason I did that, because being back getting into a new car note, it was too much for me. It was just like too much pressure. I was just stressed. And I realized paying it every, breaking it up works better for me. Also, uh, let's see. I'm going to give Victoria Secrets. I don't have that much, but about being late, I think I'm going to have to give them like $80. Um, it works better for me. And the reason it's broken up into seven days, pretty much maybe eight. <clears throat> let's see. Yes, about eight, nine days is because that first week, there is generally, I don't make any money this week here. I don't know why the first of the month is very slow for me. I mean, I possibly could pay it, but it would just leave me with hardly anything until I get a better uh, budget system going. Okay, um, nonetheless, let's skip on. So my cell bill is like $700. I know. What is going on? Why is your cell phone bill $700? That's another story in itself. So we want to get that paid down. So I have that stuff down on the 21st for the sale bill. I'm not paying $700 on the 21st, okay? That's not happening. But I am making some arrangements to pay that. And then on the 28th, we have another bill due, which is my car insurance. I can't believe I just knew I had... Um, I just knew I had paid... I mean, filled this book out. Maybe it was this one that I did. Okay, and then on the... Now, this Schedulicity, which is my online booking system, it's kind of... I paid it once on the 25th, and then I think another time I paid it... Like, Okay, so I got cut off. So, that's pretty much what I pay, what I owe, at least... If something comes up, I'll come back and revisit it. So, no, I have not been looking. So, let's go on. So, we've estimated that first week, I did put that down. So, let's do week two check-in. I estimated, I'm going back into my everyday carry. So, I don't think I estimated anything. Um, I do my usual 720 which I pretty much estimate every week which I know is going to be over or less and I actually made $1,228 and I also keep up with my tips. So basically where's my phone? I really try to be prepared, but y'all know sometimes it just ain't. Okay. So, let's track 720. I was up $308. So, the reason I would like to do the plus, let me zoom in. This thing don't. Okay. The reason I like to do the plus and the minus is because that lets me know what um, basically extra I'm earning where it can go somewhere else eventually at a later date once I finally get my budget together. Okay, so we were up $308. Oh, I made some money from last week. Oh, yeah. That's what I didn't tell you guys. I did a little mini pop-up shop at my salon. And it was a really, really good day. I made, first of all, I made $16. Hold on, let me put this down. I didn't sell anything on Posh last week, I don't think. Did I sell anything on Posh? No. Nothing on Posh. But I made $16 first, and then for my store, and then I made $58.76. So I ended up with $74.76 from um I really hadn't guesstimated anything for um my store 
I'm gonna start guesstimating something though, so that way I can just kind of manifest it into reality. So basically, I was up seventy-four dollars and twenty-six cents in Norris Cove, and anything else? I didn't make anything else. That was it. So the total income was. You know what? That's not right because I gotta subtract the seventy four, I believe, twenty six. No, fifty eight seventy six from the. Hold on. Y'all, the 1,028 kind of includes, it includes, I believe, the, oh, see, that's why I like to do it separate, but people wanted to pay me through Cash App, which I like to kind of separate things, so now I have to go back in and kind of figure this out. 527, that's what I had it made down for Saturday, subtract 5876. So I basically made 468 Saturday. Hmm. Now I'm all confused. So I believe this is the total with um, Norris Cove included. So I'm just gonna put 1,028. I've got it. I'm gonna do. See that lets me see. I'm glad things happen on camera because it's you know become an eye opener for me of what I need to focus on and how I need to separate my businesses you know apart uh now I'm just like lost like what so I think this hmm okay I'm just gonna count that as the total over here that's what I made for the week that's including Norris Cove so I basically made about eight something from here. So we were close. But Norris Cove did good with the pop-up shop. So next week, I'm going to guess the base is about 720 and that's pretty much what I do on the third week. And then I'll come back and do a um, midweek check-in. Well, a third week check-in. And also, well, actually, we are kind of... Y'all know what? I didn't have this planner and I didn't even know this had a pocket back there. What in the world? Oh my. <laughs> you know, I saw somebody showing their planner. Okay, side note. I saw somebody showing their planner and they were showing these stickers and stuff. And they said they got the deluxe. And I was like, I didn't get that. Lo and behold, here it is. Mm -mm -mm. See, you get so excited about getting stuff sometimes. You just don't take the time to explore it. I just looked at it, knew what I wanted, and bam, that's it. Okay, so that's good. Matter of fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to start using these since they're in here. I'm going to use these to put my totals at the end of the week instead of making some stickers. So that's pretty much my midweek check-in, excuse me, my end of week two check-in and my mid-month check-in. So we got three more weeks pretty much. So maybe we'll do a midweek um, on the third week. But excuse me, a mid-month on the third week. So that's pretty much my second week check-in. Also, let's come over here and look. These lines are crooked, y'all, okay? Just ignore it, you know. I can't part straight, I can't draw straight, whatever. But um, this is what I'm, my fixed incomes are. If I didn't go over this, but they're 840 definitely for... For sure on my booth rent. Aflac is for sure. Matter of fact, I need to put Aflac down for this week. I'm gonna put Aflac down. Because I try to pay it. We can pay it weekly at my salon, but I try to pay it all at once. So that way I don't have to worry about it. So car note, car insurance, these are my fixed incomes. And the total for that, I don't even think I did that. Matter of fact, hold on. This will give me a better idea. So, again, I like to do this stuff. I'm glad when mistakes happen and do things on camera. Whoa, wait a minute. $1,233. I just got to... <laughs> it's like, what? Oh, 
shoot. 40 plus 30 plus. And I'm sure there's some change, so it's actually more than that. It's um, my fixed ones. Oh, let me add in hubby, because that's definitely a fixed. Plus. Is $1,548. So I'm guesstimating just from here alone. I don't know why I put $3,500. I think it should be like $3,200. So... 3200 I believe that's, I'm guesstimating that's what I make. That's what last month was. No, last month was about 35 So I'll just say 32 Subtract the 1548 Leaves me with $1,652 for to buy hair products, pay on the cell phone bill. The reason I don't have my cell phone bill down here and the fixed expenses is because I have a lot of late fees. I'm, I'm basically trying to pay this bill off. So now it allows me to look and see where I can go in and pay like an extra car note. Pay um, on my cell phone bill uh, at hair products and grocery. And I'll get more into my grocery while this is so low. Um, later, uh, my husband pays, um, basically gives money for a grocery. And it's like a lot, uh, not a lot, man. But I'll go, I'll go more into that lately. So that's why I don't have that as a big bill. My gas for my car. Since my daughter hasn't been home, I save. I know she's watching. Like what? I save so much money. So I spent about seventy dollars really in gas, and about a hundred dollars on miscellaneous stuff. So and I don't even really hear lately. I try not to buy hair products that I don't need. I used to be a hair product hoarder, but I try not to um, hoard. And look at our estimated income over here, y'all. I have Poshmark at 75. I don't think, I think I sold one thing this month was like 40 something dollars. So I'm really meeting that goal. Um, Norris Cove has made $58 this month. So I'm halfway of that goal. So yeah, and I did a little advertisement on Instagram for Norris Cove. So we'll see how it goes. So basically I have $1,652 left in the month. I'm not basically doing a zero budget because I'm still learning my budget, but I just like to bring you all along with what's going on and how I budget as a self-employed uh, person. And I will definitely do like a, once this is kind of mapped out and I know it for sure, and I'm gonna have a groove going, like I just basically started in February making a budget. This is my very first month making a budget. And it took some getting used to. As you can see, I didn't do it in January. I wasn't um, planning in January. Something's under my nail. So, um, yeah, so I think it's... I'm going to give myself to April to really have this thing in check. But it's very... It's definitely making me more aware of where my money is going. Like I said, I've started to um, add up my money at the end of the week and daily just to see how much I'm spending, where it's going and save more like I said I have not been able to save in so long because I just blow 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 money but I'm just glad to be sharing this with you all I'm sure hopefully prayerfully I'll be making more soon and I can't say that I would share as much as I do now but once we get to that point we'll see I just you know want people to understand that when you're self-employed you don't make a lot of money your money goes different places like I need to be paying taxes I'm not paying taxes so Nonetheless, I mean, not taxes, um, I, I am paying taxes, but I need to pay them quarterly. So anyway, I don't want to wrap you guys up. I'm sure I'm over my limit, but um, we'll get back into this, you know, at a later date when I can have more time. But thank you all so much for stopping by.